Hello everyone and welcome to the presentation on Access Complete Care, also known as ACC, coming October 1st, 2018. Today's presentation we're going to cover what Access Complete Care is, who it will affect and when it is occurring, changes to specific populations such as CRS, Children's Rehabilitative Services, who is awarded the contracts and where, what is happening and when, and changes to other populations and programs that are occurring soon and then in the future. Everything that you see in this presentation is on our website at www.azaccess.gov backslash ACC. So this presentation is on there as well as many FAQs and other timelines. Here is an example of our frequently asked questions. As you can see on the top, all the questions are in blue. As you click on the question that applies to you, you will be directed right to the answer. Our frequently asked questions, we have a general one, we have one for our American Indian population, and we have one for our Children's Rehabilitative Services, CRS population. So who, what, and when? Access Complete Care Health Plans, ACC plans, are intended to further integrated health care. This will include physical services and behavioral health services in one health plan. Also, if applicable, this includes CRS services, which are children's rehabilitative services. The provider network from the health plan will be also inclusive of behavioral health and physical health providers. The ACC plan, the single integrated health plan, will provide comprehensive managed care looking at the whole person. There are many benefits of integration. Having one plan to navigate versus multiple, one payer so that that health plan is responsible to pay for all services medically necessary, one provider network and or one website to navigate for that entire provider network, easier navigation overall, streamline of care coordination for better outcomes for the individual, and improving that person's whole health. Again, looking at the entire person and everything that's going on with them and how to give them the best outcome possible. On the left-hand side, you will see our current delivery system. So you have a member that's navigating two completely separate provider networks for physical health and behavioral health, and then two separate health plans, physical health and behavioral health, all with the oversight of access. Come 10 one October 1st, you will see ACC delivery system on the right-hand side. So you have the member with a provider network that's going to include both behavioral and physical health providers with the oversight from an ACC health plan, again an integrated health plan looking at both behavioral and physical health, with the oversight with access. Who is affected by this change? Most adults and children on access are affected. To give some context, this is approximately 1.5 million out of 1.9 million members. This also includes members enrolled in Children's Rehabilitative Services, CRS. Individuals this does not affect include members on Altex, Arizona Long-Term Care System, whether with EPD, Elderly Physically Disabled Program, or DD, Developmentally Disabled Program. It does not affect adult members with a serious mental illness, also known as SMI, and most children in our foster care system. This again all starts on October 1st, 2018. Looking at this map, you can see the different populations and the changes that are coming. In the oval up top, you'll see which population we're looking at, and in this case it says most access members. Again, you're going to see a plus, a pound, and an asterisk, and that goes over those populations we just discussed that it is not impacting, and you can see that in the key on the right. In the rectangle, you're going to see the health plan, in this case an access complete care plan, and what they're responsible for. P stands for physical services, B stands for behavioral services, and C stands for children's rehabilitative services, and that's if applicable. The majority of the presentation discusses the changes coming to most access members, which is in the upper left-hand corner. This map shows every single population served by access, and if there's change coming on 10 18 and or future. So again, in that oval, you're going to see which population it is, and in the rectangles, you're going to see which plans provide which services to the members. 
If you look in the second and third row, you're going to see that there is no change happening to eight populations. So again, no change on 10118. Also, if you look in the second and third row, you're going to see some faded graphics. That means change is coming, but not on 10118, but perhaps at a later date. We'll get to that more in detail further in the presentation. This shows AXIS's integration progress to date. So there have been other populations that have had an integrated product prior. For example, our long-term care system for EPD, elderly physically disabled, was integrated from inception in 1989. There was also prior integration for CRS in 2013. However, it was a single statewide plan. And so on with the steps, the integration progress continues. What we're focusing today is the upper right-hand corner which is going to be what's occurring on 10118 for most adults and children on access, again, approximately 1.5 million members. Who and where are the ACC plans that were awarded? Here is the map that shows the geographic service areas. Many of you may know this as GSAs. Please note that the map for ACC, Access Complete Care, has some changes to the central region that many of you may notice a difference. The central region is inclusive of Maricopa, Pinal, and Gila. Then there's the northern region and the southern region. Here are the awards. In central GSA, Geographic Service Area, you have seven plans awarded. In the southern region, you have three plans awarded. One plan is specific to Pima. So in Pima County, you have the choice of three plans, and in the other southern counties, you have the choice of two. In northern GSA, you have two plans. This is a different way of looking at the awards. This shows in each area who's coming, who's going, and what are some of the dynamics of this transition. An A stands for an awarded contract. That means that that health plan was awarded a contract in that area. Keep in mind, Central is including Pinal and Gila. An E stands for an exiting plan. So that means that that plan today is in that area serving access members. However, on 10118 will no longer be in that area. An N stands for new. And then there are also some nuances in the Central to pay attention to. So those that say A with two stars, so Banner University Family Care, is new in Maricopa County only. So that means that they've already been in Pinal and Gila and they will be also joining now Maricopa County. A with three asterisks means they are only new to Pinal and Gila counties. So they have already been in Maricopa and now they will be joining in Pinal and Gila come 10118. Please also note in the southern region for the one asterisk that United Healthcare Community Plan is awarded in the southern region for Pima County only. This slide looks at our projected membership for this transition on 10118. Again, this does not take into account membership choice, so it's important to know that this is just an estimation of prediction for the transition. So in the central region, approximately 10,000 members will be transitioning on 10118. In the southern region, almost 200,000, 100,000 of those being in Pima County. In the northern region, approximately 83,000. And again, in total, statewide, looking at a transition on 10118 of approximately 300,000 individuals. This is a different way of looking at the projected membership and changes coming. In the blue, you will see that plan's current membership statewide. In the red or maroon color, you will see the estimated ACC plan membership on 10-1. So this solely looks on 10-1, and it does not also take into account membership choice. These are simply estimations. This slide looks at our current care delivery system and all of our lines of business, our fee-for-service, behavioral health, acute, and our long-term care system. This is today, prior to 10-1. The following slide will look at 10-1-18 changes. On this slide, you're going to see in the middle some changes. You will still see the REBAs, Regional Behavioral Health Authorities, and their current names as well as their incoming REBA change names. 
We will get to more on that later. You will also see a line for Access Complete Care, which is no longer just acute. It's going to be an integrated product of physical, behavioral health, and CRS services. Those that are colored in a slight yellow are going to show you the Access Complete Care plans and their REBA affiliated plans. What's coming next? The awards were announced on March 5th, 2018. You can see a link to our news announcement should you choose. There is also going to be several public forums throughout spring 2018 to let providers, members, and contractors know of changes that are upcoming. In June, Access will be sending the letters to members with choice. And in July, members will be making their health plan choices and that will be by July 31st. Again, all of this is to begin the transition for Access Complete Care on October 1st, 2018 to the integrated ACC health plans. It is very critical during all of this time that individual members have current addresses on file. So if you need to report an address change to make it current, you can go to www.healthyarizonaplus.gov as listed on this slide click My Account, My Household, and Report a Change. You will then say if you're an individual that had moved or household that had moved, and once you click Next, you simply enter your address. This process is very critical to ensuring members with choice get their letters. Members that are currently in a health plan that will also be an ACC, Access Complete Care Plan, in their area will stay with their plan for October 1st, 2018. They will still have choice of other ACC plans on their annual enrollment choice date. If a member is currently in a health plan that will not be an ACC plan in their area, they will be assigned an ACC plan, but have the entire month of July to choose a different ACC plan in their area should they choose. Again, members with choice will receive letters from Access with assignment and choice options in June, and they may select a different plan by July 31st, 2018. Certain members that previously received services with the REBA, which is the Regional Behavioral Health Authority, have a one-time choice on 10-1 to stay with the REBA-affiliated ACC contractor. So, this wouldn't be necessary if the acute plan that you're already with is the affiliated REBA plan, or if the plan that you're with is exiting because you already have a choice of all of the plans. So this situation really applies when your acute plan is not the REBA affiliated ACC plan and is remaining in your area. The REBA affiliated ACC plans are as follows. It shows you by region, Northern, Central, and Southern, the current REBA name and the REBA affiliated ACC. So for the North, what you know is HCIC, Health Choice Integrated Care. The REBA affiliated ACC will be Stewart Health Choice Arizona. Mercy Maricopa Integrated Care, MMIC, the REBA affiliated ACC is Mercy Care. For Sympatico Integrated Care, CIC, the REBA affiliated ACC is Arizona Complete Health. It's important to know these name changes. The following slides are going to discuss Children's Rehabilitative Services, CRS changes. CRS members will now have a choice of an ACC plan. Members that are currently enrolled with CRS will receive all their physical health and behavioral health services from an ACC plan. So again, another integrated product, but a choice of plan. CRS members will continue to be identified and designated by ACCESS. Children that are in foster care with CRS conditions will receive physical health services, including anything for CRS conditions, from CMDP. Behavioral health services will transition to the REBA. In 10-1-2020, as you can see in the faded graphic, there are further integration plans for DCS CMDP. We will get to more on that later. CRS members that are also enrolled with DES, DD, will continue to receive physical and behavioral health services through United CRS. 
There's further information on DDD's website on the blue hyperlink to see their plans for future integration as well, planned for 10-1-2019. CRS members that are determined SMI, seriously mentally ill, and not enrolled with DESDD will be moved to the REBA for integrated services. So the REBA will be responsible for physical health services, behavioral health services, and CRS services. This change is only for SMI CRS members. The following slides will discuss American Indian health program changes and changes for the American Indian population. Changes for American Indian Health Program, also known as AIHP. AIHP will now pay for and manage care for physical and behavioral health services, so an integrated product. They will pay for and manage care for CRS services, where in applicable. The REBAs, Regional Behavioral Health Authority, and TREBAs, Tribal Regional Behavioral Health Authorities, will continue to serve American Indian members designated as SMI, seriously mentally ill. AIHP will also manage care with TREBAs, Tribal Regional Behavioral Health Authorities, when available and the members enrolled in the TREBA. Integrated choices for the non-SMI populations will be available with AIHP or AIHP and the TREBA or an ACC plan. More simply put, it's an integrated product or an integrated product, but the member has a choice to go with an ACC plan or AIHP, and then the TREBA if available with the AIHP. All American Indian members can still access services from an IHS 638 facility regardless of their enrollment at any time. Tribal members will continue the same frequency of choice options that they have today, as well as annual enrollment options continuing. This slide looks at specific transitions for American Indian populations. This again is going to be an estimation and will not take into account member choice. On the bright blue in the left hand side, you're going to see the current health plan enrollment and assignment. In the middle, you will see the projected transition. And on the far right, you will see the approximate number of members transitioning statewide. Please note there are three areas here that have no change and it's indicated as such. Other things to be aware of during this transition. Regional Behavioral Health Authorities, REBAs, will no longer serve most adults and children as of October 1st, 2018, but there are some exceptions. Behavioral Health Services will be provided through an Access Complete Care ACC plan. REBAs will continue to provide and serve foster children enrolled in CMDP, members enrolled with DESDD, individuals determined to have a serious mental illness, SMI, they will also be responsible for crisis services, grant funded services, and state only funded services. The crisis system responsibilities will remain with the REBA as indicated on the prior slide and in their respective GSA, Geographic Service Area, areas. So please note, Maricopa is central, Gila is with the north, and Pinal is with the south. Continuity of care is incredibly important during this transition. For transitioning members, ACC plans are required to allow members receiving behavioral health treatment to continue to access specific providers as listed in treatment plan for the duration of six months or their treatment, whichever occurs first. The provider does have to agree. Also, ACC plans must allow members with CRS qualifying conditions in an active course of treatment on their plan if agreed by the provider for the duration of treatment or six months, whichever occurs first. Each ACC plan is required to have a Medicare Advantage DSNP dual special needs option to offer alignment to members that have both Medicaid and Medicare. Members with health plan changes may need to make future changes to their Medicare enrollment to continue to be aligned if they choose to do so. What's in the future? This slide looks at an access contract timeline, all the different contracts and transitions going on applicable to our members. Right now, we're focused on the purple maroon color, which are all the efforts for transitioning ACC. 
CMDP will be managing CRS services for members starting on 10-1-18. Again, CMDP is our Foster Children Health Plan. Access and DCS are looking at future integration opportunities and that plan is for 10-1-20. There's a large, robust Mercer analysis on our website that you can get by this hyperlink. So if you look at the bubbles on this slide, you're going to see no change for children in foster care. Physical health will be through DCS CMDP. Behavioral health will be through the REBA. And again, move towards integration is planned for 2020. Children in foster care and CRS will be receiving physical and CRS services from CMDP and behavioral health services from the REBA. And again, looking at that integrated product for 2020. In regards to integration efforts for DDD, they are working on an RFP process for furthering integration and that's planned for 10-1-19. Here is a hyperlink to further information on these efforts. Thank you for joining us today and learning about Access Complete Care, ACC. And thank you for being a part of the education efforts for our transition for 10-1-18.